there. Uh, whose shield was lost somewhere along the way, and that was decisive. Uh, coming down the uh, coming down from the wall seems to have made a lot of difference in that uh, in that particular conflict. Oh, and I'm sorry I didn't give you the score there during that match. To think of uh, something to remind me to do that. Uh, para Celsius is pronounced like Celsius. Par para Celsius. Uh, he is an ancient engineer and philosopher. He is the first to discover hydrogen. However, he thought it was just flammable air. If he thought it was just flammable air, can he truly be said to have discovered hydrogen? But anyway, thank you for the history lesson, Paracel Para Paracelsius. Green Tails, 43. Hello, greetings and salutations. Thank you for joining us today. All right. All right. So I'm just watching, uh, waiting for, join as observer. I don't want to miss this. So we, oh, we're in there, another misty, rather spooky. Not time situation. We have the, uh, the the level designer over at uh, over at Fat Shark. Surely loves they use is I believe it has very fast shadows um, because uh, of the I, I don't know the technical details, but I was explained to me in layman's terms once that basically they are uh, in good shape for one bit transparency and fast shadows of this nature. Flames that have transparent edges is rather expensive to render. Uh, we noticed on screen it could really drag down the performance, but uh, these, I believe, are uh, very inexpensive comparatively, so they're able to use them a lot, and and good on them because they look absolutely beautiful. And in fact, the you can see the curling, twisting uh, mess of branches extending out into this gnarled tree in the top left, and in the distance, I, would these be leafless oak trees, maybe? Good day to you, my uh, good day to you, sir. My mustache shall smite thee. <laughs> Some colorful commentary coming from the chat there as they're waiting for more players. Looks like it's KW or the Keyboard Warriors versus SSW, the Saxons, once again. So it uh, looks like we're waiting for one Saxon and one Keyboard Warrior. Now, interesting. I'm not sure. It looks like these must be... Uh, these must be... Uh, little... Not factions. What's what I'm looking for? Little teams within teams or squads. All right, so let's learn this map. We've got a high point here that also serves as an obstruction with a couple of ramps on either side. Uh, it seems like that would be a great place for, for melee, especially... Uh, it, it where this fellow is here, not to see. Uh, the Saxon who's up there, he's in a good position to hit a lot of the map and see anybody who's coming after him coming. Especially when so much of the battle is focused on this side. SSW uh, dominating this match, it seems, with an archer in place and one of the KW players remaining after a very brief match. Taken out. Alright. There we go. And that battle was over rather quickly. Although I did although the position for the archer seemed rather good, I didn't feel like that archer got to contribute a whole lot to the overall path the battle took and I won I wonder I wonder if there was more advantage just to having them there to you know discourage the other team from placing somebody that much good now it looks like SSW headed up to the uh, the overpass early and uh, the archer on KW had a notion of taking that position but was unfortunately taken out by SSW very early on why am I focused on him Got a Spearman here who is looking for his opportunities down in a trench, which seems like a rather dangerous position to be on this map. Uh, there's a lot of subtle height advantage that goes around the map. A two-on-one against a member of SS... W here. He backs into the fray, but it's looking very heavily supporting KW right now. It looks like KW has got this one. They're just taking care of the stragglers. <clears throat> and Lone Wolves, Heel Eagle, Orange Raven. Um, still trying to figure out what those uh, what those group names mean and why they're the same on both times. So General Peaches, this is a tournament between uh, a number of uh, different guilds that played War of the Roses, other games, and in this case, War of the Vikings. And uh, they asked me to call their tournament, something that I think that I can do <laughs> and uh, that I'm happy to help with. And so uh, I'm learning about the game as we go. So it's sort of my first time calling a match uh, on a regular uh, sort of span of time. But uh, that's what we're doing here. 
All right, so we've got. Uh, it looks like SSW is 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 falling pretty fast here. We've got two remaining on this side, two, four on uh, the opposing team, and I'm just trying to get a view of the other view. Change from spectator to spectator. I wonder if there's a map button I can press. We'll take a look at the score real quick here. It looks like the Saxons or SSW is still still leading overall. I don't think this is a per match score. All right, we have KW very smartly staying hidden. And moving about the map carefully, but it looks like they've been flanked. Yes, they have been stay with uh, range early on. Uh, not a smart move. The, uh, in my opinion, the his opponent, the, the, his target was not fully engaged with the melee that was trying to draw his attention. And uh, this particular player seems to be able to pull out shots relatively quickly. The strategy might, ooh, might have worked for them, except for uh, he drew aggro. He drew human aggro from the final SSW player, but uh, unfortunately, he was taken out. Uh, congratulations to KW for winning that round. Let's take a look at the score. Here. Uh, oh, looks like I have to join as an observer first, and then we can take a quick look at this. Uh, now it's uh, the the KW has taken the lead. Interesting. That's right. Excuse me. I don't think I'm. I don't know if I'm seeing the overall score here. So forgive me. Uh, I mean, certainly there's two wins to SSW, but the overall score rankings are in the lead for score. Anyway, getting back to the match here. We've got a cluster around the tree. Everybody's using the tree as a defensive position to try to dodge away from strikes as they come in, basically an in-map shield. Down in the trench there, again, very bad situation. That uh, match was over so fast that I barely got a, a chance, a sense of... Um, I barely got a sense of what was happening, uh, but it seemed like getting down in that trench corner quickly turned ugly. Let's see, the match score is fogged as a spectator to prevent winning team joiners and such. Oh, I see. Well, what about people who can just do math quickly? <laughs> Thank you, Par Paracelsius, for letting me know. You are living up to your namesake with all of this information and knowledge you possess. Can we, uh, maybe we could share a cup of flammable air sometime to exchange engineering ideas from the ancient world. All right, so, using the tree as a shield again, working around in this pit. That pit actually delays you a little bit when you fall into it as well, which just cost the Sika his life. Uh, and, oh, but whoever, whoever killed him just went down instead. I should try to watch the, uh, I should try to watch the, uh, feed in the top right and figure out what's going on with who's killing who, but it's, uh, when, by the time you look at it, you're completely disoriented to the match itself. Unknown, hanging back, trying to avoid conflict until he can join with his friends. And it looks like SSW took this one. 5,800. Oh, they're pushing 10,000 now. They are very clearly in the lead. Wow. A massive turn in score. Uh, they are now leading 3 to 2 in overall matches. Join as observer. All right. What time is it anyway? I'm just, I'm not, I've never tried to just continually... Uh, talk at this level of focus for uh, this long before, or at least in, in recent memory. Maybe this is what I do normally when I'm playing, but uh, it feels different somehow. So we have uh, KW staying very clustered by the tree. I'm not sure if this is a, a deliberate choice or if they just happen to be in the tree again. I would get those archers out of that pit ASAP. I think that's a very dangerous place to be. You're basically making a head hit very easy. And the spearmen with the overhead strike, I feel like they have a lot of advantage in that position when they're above you on the wall. And indeed, let's see, I can't tell. It looks like SSW just took it again, and they took it largely because of that height advantage uh, uh, over the edge of that pit. I don't think that pit's a good place to be. All right, we're loading the arena cliff map. So now it's time for us to put our our uh, artist hat on again. Everyone leaves server. Oh my. Uh, I guess that's to, uh, to move on to the next team, perhaps. All right, so I should hit join battle. <laughs> Hmm, I had a quick question about a stream from a long time ago. I was wondering how Cthulhu turned out when you made that 3D model. Um, how Cthulhu turned out? I made a 3D Cthulhu model in a stream a long time ago? I don't remember this. I don't remember at all. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, if you haven't been watching the Lunchtime Level Up on 
uh, weekdays at 11.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, then uh, you have been missing me uh, doing art streams during the week, though, I can tell you that. Uh, we just finished Super Meat Boy, a super crazy, creepy, realistic Super Meat Boy, which I'm sure somebody can post. Uh, and uh, we'll be starting on the Starbound Penguin on Monday. Just FYI, in case anybody's interested. It's basically like a Bob Roth show for 3D art. <laughs> So we're back to the uh, we're back to the highly polished rock tumbled hay roofs. I do love that uh, that cross monument in the center of town there. Okay, so it's IG versus VRNG in this next match. VRNG needs a couple of minutes, so they're gonna take a couple of minutes, and I'm gonna take a couple of minutes too, just to get <coughs> make sure I have some water that I can drink with my tea, uh, so I don't blow my voice out. And I will be back in uh, just a few moments. I'll put on my away screen, which. Sadly, has nothing whatsoever to do with this, and I shall return. And we're back. All right, I only had a bite, a chance to eat one bite at my snack, but all right. So we've got IG versus VRN, or VRNG at the moment. IG using the rock as a defensive position and doing a bit of flirting, but getting into full melee at the moment. With the battle spreading out, a one-on-one -on -one turns into a two-on-one, -on -one, turns into a two-on-two. -on -two. And the battle ebbs and flows very fastly with the two Saxons being routed quickly. And it looks like IG is in for a quick victory as they've got one Saxon remaining down with three IG members. Still on their feet. Mm. There we go. There we go. So, um, forgive me that I'm going to have a few bites of my cereal as we go along here. <clears throat> you know, t all this talking is just really taxing my system. I feel like oh, I need more calories in me. Join us, observer, quickly. All right, let's see what's going on on this side. Now we've got uh, two people committed to ranged kits at this point, uh, trying to hang back. Kind of makes sense on this map, as there's quite a lot, quite a lot of large open views, or uh, quite a, quite a lot of range to cross, space to cross, um, as people make their way across the map. But still, a commitment that means you'll have less sturdiness from your uh, your people kitted out with ranged. All right, let's head over to the main melee here. Got somebody getting back to their feet. So we've got a couple of IGs remaining, and I think they just finished with four remaining, uh, four remaining warriors. That's right. Nice work, IG. Oh. 
Mm. All right. Sorry about any lagginess that might be on the stream. Twitch has been having a lot of trouble this week. I am dropping frames, but and I'm not sure what uh, what the factor is there since I've never streamed this game before. I, okay, IG staying very clustered behind the rock. A couple of their members push out over to the right. And uh, it's kind of like playing Ring Around the Rocky for a minute there. Although, uh, let's see. It looks like IG. Is that IG back there? Who's got this uh, archer way in the back? Yeah, that is IG. Left an archer in the back. But a swordsman is on his way to see if they can take care of Thor the Thunder God. Bogatir. Oh, Bogatir is the leader. I see. Uh, coming to uh, see if he can take care of, of Thor. And uh oh, looks like. Yep. Time. Seems like bodies on the field is a really important factor here, um, versus uh, versus almost any other factor that I see uh, being undertaken in a match. Let's see. See it up on YouTube. Uh, I'm boarding this. You will not be seeing this event on YouTube. All right. So uh, we have uh, just chucked a javelin, uh, and uh, Leeson is already in the process of bandaging behind that rock there. I think this one's gonna go to VRNG. That's just my. I'm gonna make an early call. I just feel. Feels like they've, uh, yeah, uh, it looks like I seems to have paid off, um, both distracting and taking out, uh, just taking out one member, distracting another. Yeah, VR was the way things were running out, but they're just uh, now consolidating their forces, and it's up to the last remaining, it's, last, it's up to Thor to find some way with his, uh, with his range kit to fight off the invaders. Now, can he go all the way across this, uh, can he go all the way across this bridge? Because I didn't realize that there was a map this big. Are there out? Are there bounds that uh, people are are or are not allowed to cross? Uh, I'm not too clear on that, but it seems like maybe the map is a lot bigger than this little skirmish area. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. He is up. I see one bowman. What's going on over here on the IG side? Yep, uh, Mick, uh, MK and uh, Thor. Well, they were running together for a while. I think they should have stuck together, but it looks like MK found a two-on-one. It was a great situation for them, not so great situation for VRNG, and it looks like that was the last man on the field. <laughs> All right. Load the level. What the next match has in store for us. Ah, Bruce Derp says that the maps are cornered off. So does Fresh the Fall in the arena maps. We mostly just take a small portion of the whole map. Okay, so there's like an invisible wall on the bridge. Then I assume. All right, IG. They like to roll up to the rock. Let's see what's going off on this side battle here. If I can find it. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to use these big rocks for cover. And uh, I'm making a un or uncommon use of the wall here. Although I've not seen anybody kicked off the edge of this map. Thor the Thunder God is in trouble. Oh, MK, you could have restored him while you were standing there next to him. You missed opportunity by MK, in my opinion. And But, uh, let's see, did IG just manage to take it? I'm unclear on that. It looks like it. Yes, I believe IG took that match. Hmm. Okay, next battle. This will give me a chance to finish my cereal so you don't have to he hear me eating it anymore. 